Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing some of my fidget toys because I actually have very bad problems with focusing. So I'll be reviewing some of those. So first is the squishy, which I don't really like squishies because I don't find them very amusing, but I still do use it quite often. Here's another, here's another squishy. This is a little orange tiger. And I'm pretty sure I got this at Target. Can't remember exactly. But I really like this one. I think he's cute. Next I have this really soft little squishy. Back is flat and you put it on your phone. And it's like a phone thing. I just use it to squish because it's really soft. So next I have this homemade one. I like to just move it around in my hands because it's really satisfying. And I just put slime in a like Dollar General bag and then zip tied it. So there's that one. And I also have a big version of that one. So yeah. Next I have my Fuji Boy Rubik's Cube. And this. I usually don't mess with it because I can never solve it. And I'm not the biggest fan of Rubik's Cubes. I just more collect them. We also have this Rubik's Cube which is unsolved. And I've got this one. I've got this one which is the same as the other one. But it just is soft. So next up is one of my homemade ones. And if it'll focus, this is a little cap lid, and you can just open it or shut it. If in the bottom, it's just you can open and shut it, and I really like that one. So here's this one. This is also one of the ones I made, and I like just moving it around in my hand. I think it's really nice. So yeah. We also have fidget spinners. Which I'm not the biggest fan of them, but I do like this one because it's gold. Next up is my infinity cube, which can move in all different directions. So yeah, that's probably my favourite. Next is kind of this little homemade one, and I just like taking it to the end and end. And it sounds really satisfying. And then the middle part is actually Q-tips, and then this part is fidget spinner bearings, which is the part that comes out of a fidget spinner. Next is a fidget spinner. This is kind of a clear one, and I just kind of move it around in my hand, which is satisfying. And this is the middle part of the fidget spinner, and I just move this around like this. I really like that one. So next is also the uh, middle of the fidget spinner, and you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but it spins. So yeah, that's one I really like too. Next up is this little fidget spinner, which I actually, this isn't really one I use, but this is the middle part of this one. As you can see it's missing. This is that. So next up is another fidget spinner. I like the design on this one a lot. There's that. So next is kind of like a simple dimple. I have this little cap and I like screwing the lid on and off and if you press this part in you can press it in and out it just has a really nice sound so I really like that one so next this one isn't really a fidget toy but it's a little birdie keychain and if you press back on this it's mouth opens 
and I just really liked that one. I don't really know why. Next up is this little bar roller. This little ball in the middle of this rolls a bit. Oh no. But it rolls. And this is something I got out of a little claw machine from Walmart. And this was a chopstick. And I just wore this around. Next, this one I don't use too often, but this is a little yo-yo. And I haven't, I just took it out of the package. But I don't really use this one either. So next is, I have this bracelet. And it's really stiff. And I'll just kind of move it around. And I just really like this one. Because you can do all kinds of cool things with it. Here's that one. And then, here's this one. So this is a Gatorade cup. And this is a ranch dressing bottle cup. And I connected them. So it looks like this. And what I do is, I can just take this pot out. Put your switch back in. And the lid's kind of hard to open on that, but with this, I can twist this on and off. So, really like that one. And I've got this really cool fingerling, and where I wouldn't really say that it's a fidget toy, but I do really like this one because he turns on. So there is that one, and last but not least, I have this fidget spinner, and I took the metal parts out of it, so it looks like this. Okay, baby, boy, tell me, will you guys put in the comments below if you guys have any of these same fidgets as me, and comment down below whether you want me to show you how to make any of my homemade ones. Thank you, bye.